Donald Trump is truly just an incredible person. Like he really is. He blows my mind. I, I mean, his whole career, in his entire career, all this dude has done, right, is rip people off. That's literally all he's done, whether it be, you know, construction workers that he doesn't pay for the construction sites that he got going on when he was doing the uh, Trump casinos or anybody that he doesn't pay and that he rips off. My man's, look, this dude owes $750,000 in unpaid fees to police municipalities around the country. This is what he does. And you know, the craziest thing about this to me, oh, and, and then mind you, he owes like $90 million to Jeannie and Carol, like half a billion dollars for the Letitia James kicking his ass and uh, the civil suit, you know, the list goes on and on and, and, and even more money than that to banks around the world. But, you know, it, it's just Donald Trump, he's hailed as the, the savior of the little guy, you know, somebody, he's an outsider. He He's, He's above the fray. He's not a real politician when, in fact, we know that Donald Trump is just as establishment as anybody in there. He's the biggest establishment sellout as any other Republican, as any other Republican, despite, you know, Trump's annex, despite how dangerous he is. Pretty much all the Republicans in Congress and the Senate, though they hate him behind closed doors, they're fully behind him when it comes to policy for them. It's like, well, if we could just find a nicer guy who could dress things up a little bit better, maybe, you know, we wouldn't have to really But again, like this guy's unbelievable. So let's check this out. Let's go through this. Trump's unpaid rally bills at colossal sum to already staggering debt. Several cities are accusing Donald Trump of holding events and then fleeing with unpaid bills. And again, this is nothing new. This is what Donald Trump does. I mean, he's raised hundreds of millions of well, over a billion dollars in the last nine years for sure. But he's he's raised so much money and then he doesn't spend it where he's supposed to spend it. Like he's just a con artist. That's all he is. Nothing but a con artist. Amid his already staggering legal tab and the financial strain of running a campaign in a competitive election, Donald Trump has yet uh, has yet more bills to worry about. According to NBC News, several cities are seeking more than seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in unpaid fees from the Trump campaign for rallies held over the past several years. Four cities and a county say the former president owes them reimbursements for the costs of local law enforcement and first responder supported his campaign events. And, you know, the, the, this is supposed to be the guy of uh, law and order. You know, he don't even pay the police officers when he comes through. And think, and think about just how big of a general scumbag you have to be, not, not even just to do this once or twice, but this is how he goes about his life. Everybody's a sucker to him. All he knows is con and swing. That's all he does. Everyone is a mark. The city of El Paso, Texas, makes up the bulk of that amount. The city is billing Trump for $569,200, almost $600,000 in expenses from a 2019 event, according. And, he, and, and they could pay the money. They just don't because this is the type of people they are. According to an invoice provided to NBC News, the amount owed is so egregious that its city council lawyer lawyered up to advocate in the city's interest in the collection of the outstanding invoices, yet the Trump campaign still hasn't paid. And again, this is supposed to be the, the, the man that's going to deliver the working class. And on the other side, again, most people aren't even, the, the divide is so steep and the difference between Democrats and Republicans right now is, is just so massive. You know, think about like when Biden just completely shit the bed at the debate, pretty much everybody on the left, and by the left, I mean like everybody left of Republicans, was ready for him to drop out, ready to move on. You know, Biden isn't a cult leader, neither is Kamala. Nobody thinks that Kamala is going to deliver us from evil. You know, we think that she'll do a decent job managing the government, and that's what we need. We need somebody to run and manage the government. Uh, that being pretty antithetical to. The, the Republican apparatus right now in general, but especially to someone like Donald Trump, who, in addition to not being interested in it, he's an idiot and he's a narcissistic psycho. You know what I mean? So it, it's just, it, it's so damn ridiculous. All right. I was on a tangent. I forgot where I was going, but I think I said enough. All right. Where are we at now? <clears throat> How much did we go? Okay. In a classic MAGA fashion, Trump's team has decided to blame someone else, of course. When NBC News reached out, a Trump campaign official said via text message that questions related to local law enforcement and first responder costs should be directed to Secret Service. Of course, though, the Secret Service said 
through a spokesperson that it is true that the agency is typically the one that requests local safety reinforcements for campaigns. The agency, quote, lacks a mechanism to reimburse local governments for their support during protective events. While some officials have acknowledged that Trump may not be legally responsible for the cost, they still believe that the Republican candidate should pay up due to the burden his rallies place. Quote, we believe the Trump 2020 campaign should reimburse our city for those taxpayer dollars. And we have invoiced the campaign accordingly, said a spokesperson for the city of Mesa, Arizona, which was uh, which has billed the Trump campaign around sixty five thousand dollars to cover additional law enforcement costs. Trump could easily do the right thing and pay these cities, even with the money he has earned from selling his NFT trading cards. Right. His cars, his shoes, his watches, his Bibles, all of that. Um, But yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm glad they pointed that out. His outstanding legal fees are in the hundreds of millions. So maybe maybe he's not really thinking about it. But again, this is just who this dude is at the end of the day. He's a complete and utter scumbag, which, you know, again, no, nobody's saying that Kamala's going to just make, you know, go be super progressive and bring us Medicare for all and raise the minimum wage to twenty five dollars an hour. But again, what we need is somebody who can responsibly run and manage the government and maybe sprinkle in some advances and some progress here. Versus Donald Trump, who is just beyond, beyond incapable of doing the same. So, hey, now, thank you so much for tuning in here at Politics and Paper. If you like what I do and you support my work, go ahead and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and really helps to support what we do here.